Pisces sexuality. Well, Pisces are the chameleons of the zodiac, so they can pretty much fit into any role you want them to. And they would absorb the desire of the partner. Uh, and they would kind of mold themselves according to the desire of the partner. So they can be from the whore of Babylon dominatrix to the pretty girl that is submissive. And, you know, they can play all those roles. So every night if you have a partner who, say, with Mars and Pisces and Venus and Pisces, you can have diversity. And, and Pisces is the change of a, one of those signs, which are the mutable signs. So they flow with their desires and they adapt to them. So you can have pretty wonderful sex with a, with a Pisces partner. They're adaptable, they want to please you, they want to make you happy. And they even, they don't do it consciousness, consciously and calculatively, like, like Virgo, for instance, they'll try and learn the technique that pleases you and repeat it and do it. While Pisces, they do it intuitively to suit, to, to they, they would intuitively feel what your needs are and try to please you. So it's almost like a flow uh, with with making love with them, you know. And they're not into too much rough and vulgar things as well. Unless you really enjoy it, they can do it for you. But it needs to be a bit more romantic, a little bit more gentle, a bit more sophisticated. There is kind of an ephemeral feeling about the sign Pisces. And they need to, they need also such an atmosphere which is not too vulgar, which is a bit more gentle, to predispose them, to disconnect them from reality a little bit, to dissociate them from reality, because Pisces is the sign of the invisible world. So maybe some candles, some lovely music, some wine, sometimes even getting trashed, you know, <laughs> they can appreciate it. Uh, and that, that way they disconnect, this way they disconnect from reality through those stimulants, through those music or whatever, candles, uh, going on a holiday, different place that is very, that is far away from the everyday reality will really turn them on. That's why taking them on holidays, more exotic, far away places, or just playing some music, some wine, it's, it's a great turn on for them. And they, they can be whoever you want them to be. So role playing is fantastic with them. Uh, and as I said, they're some of the best lovers because they tend to the needs of the others. They morph into the needs of the others. They have very powerful dreams and fantasies. And if you want to please uh, uh, and make a Pisces woman or man love you a lot, you, you have to ask them a little bit about their fantasies and play out some of those fantasies with them. And also you can you can tie their eyes when, when there is someone strong Pisces in them. By tying of the eyes, they gain disconnect from reality and the world, the fantasy world becomes pretty vivid and they'll enjoy, they'll feel the sensation much strongly and their mind will be, the imagination will be pretty well. They make love through the imagination as well. Uh, and also maybe some poetry, some romantic music, some, some um, you know, wonderful ambience. Pisces is a sign of water, so maybe in the bath uh, will really, the, it will really making a lovely bath. You know, they are the fish, so water excites them, or taking them on a trip over water, or going on a boat or something. This is something they'll find very romantic and very turning on as well. Uh, and Pisces might sometimes have even fetishes for food, for, for the feet, because Pisces rules the feet. Uh, so, you know, make sure that your feet are always well done, well manicured, your toes, you know, and that they're clean and everything, because often Pisces men or Pisces women will, 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 this is erogenous zone for them, so you can even touch them on the feet, you can kiss them on the feet for something that might turn them on often. And also when it comes to role playing, especially roles when there is submission, domination, because uh, like doctors and nurses, because Pisces is the sign about uh, taking care of, of people who need, of charity, of charitablenessness. So doctors and nurses uh, wearing white, you know, so you have, uh, if there is a man who has Virgo, who has Venus in Pisces, for instance, or Mars in Pisces, he might like his women to dress a little bit like nurses or a little bit in white outfit or white underwear, lingerie, uh, or uh, another kind of situation where there is a little bit of being dominated to submissiveness. You know, an equality of roles, because Pisces is a little bit about that. Um, and yes, it's almost often even spiritual tantric sex is possible with Pisces, because as I said, they do, they make love with their soul. They make love with the deep, uh, 
the deep forces of their soul, so the kind of poetic love, poetic, they can take you to a different level almost. I mean, all my boyfriends so far have had their Mars and Pisces, and I'm a lucky girl, what can I say? <laughs> so it is, it is a good position uh, when it comes to lovemaking, but nothing raw, rough, don't go too dirty, don't go too extreme. They can often be very quiet when making love because they almost dissociate from reality, they go into their own reality. So even dirty talking might be something they don't do much uh, or that kind of makes them feel uncomfortable or disrupts their flow because they're making love to you with their imagination, with their soul, unless they have some Gemini influences or some Virgo, some, some other influences which makes them blurt and chat during that. But usually Pisces is a quiet, spiritual type of sex, tantric relationship type of thing that happens during the sex uh, uh, period in particular. So yeah, um, please uh, share with me if you have a bit more details about the Pisces lovers and how they're in, in between the sheets, you know. I'm sure you can fill in the details a bit more graphically than me. Thank you.